Hi everybody, this is Angel Arts, and welcome to Let's Replay Detroit Become Human. Uh, if you are looking for my blind Let's Play of playing through this game for the very first time, this is not it. I'll put a link up on the corner. Um, so if you wanted to see my complete blind playthrough of this game, you're welcome to do so. I love this game so much. This is probably, probably going to be my favorite game of the year, or at least really close to being my favorite game of the year. And there's so much stuff from this game that I haven't seen yet, because due to the nature of this game, the different choices that you make branches out into completely different scenes that you normally would get um, had you had done a completely different choice from before. So I wanted to like take advantage of that and do a complete replay of this game just so that I can continue reacting to some of the stuff that I totally missed. Um, so just to give you an idea of what my intention for uh, intention is with this with this particular gameplay is, I'm not necessarily planning on um, selecting the exact opposite things of what I chose the first time. Um, I don't think that my characters are going to be totally savage in this game versus, you know, my, for the most part, diplomatic or paragon um, way that I was playing my characters from the last game. But it is going to be a lot more pragmatic. I'm trying to make my characters this time around a little more mm, renegade-y, but again, not necessarily total savages. So, one, so for example, with Kara, uh, I'm probably gonna make her a lot more pragmatic. Um, she's probably going to be willing to um, cross the line cross those gray areas more, mostly for the sake of, of Alice. She's willing to do more and willing to do more shady things, but all of it is because she wants to do everything she can to protect Alice and to give everything that she needs. So with, um, with Connor, I'm probably going to have him stay as a, devi stay as a deviant stay as a machine this time. I've My Connor is going to be a deviant all the way, but for this playthrough, I'm kind of curious to see what would happen if he decided to stick with his programming um, and not cross over to, you know, cross over that line. I'm pretty sure the game is gonna be massively different with that type of Connor. I still think I'm going to have him still try to be as good of a person as possible because he's I think just because he stays a machine doesn't mean he's he's evil I think that um, he still wants to you know he still wants to protect people he still wants to do quote unquote good he still wants to do what he needs to do for the mission but I don't think he's gonna like sacrifice innocent lives unless he absolutely has to um, so that's my intention for, for Connor, is he's still going to be a good guy and he's going to try to do good things, but he's going to do it from a perspective of, um, of a non-deviant android. And then probably the character that is going to be the most opposite is going to be Marcus, because I, even though I don't think I'm going to have really any enjoyment out of it, um, I don't think I'm necessarily interested in actually going the revolutionary route or the more violent route, but I feel like you guys may want to watch me react to what Marcus's path would be like if he chose a completely different direction, if he chose to be a little less peaceful um, with his approach to gaining um, independence and freedom for his people. So, um, so that's pretty much going to be my, my um, plan for this playthrough. 
So if any of that sounds really interesting to you, especially because it's still, those parts are still gonna be pretty blind to me, um, then we'll, uh, then this will be a really great experience, hopefully. This time, this time, I'm gonna be a lot more focused on my mission, so I'm actually not going to save the fish this time. Sorry, fishy. Sorry. If it falls, she falls. Yeah. How about his deactivation code? Have you tried its deactivation codes. The first thing we tried. Um, Has it experienced an emotional shock recently? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you I know, sir. fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Last time I didn't pick up the gun. This time I'm gonna actually keep it. All right. Let's go check. Out the other guy. Ooh. Sorry, dude. I was trying to like get more evidence. Sorry, dude. Apparently, like I think the only way there's no way for you to analyze all the clues and let that guy and prevent that guy from getting shot. I also changed the difficulty back to experience now that I played this once, um, and I noticed that there aren't like the little lines that guide you towards what areas um, during this analysis that you haven't looked at like they did with casual game gameplay which is which is interesting hi daniel uh, my name is connor how do you know my name i know a lot of things about you i've come to get you out of this Um, reassure. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to talk and find a solution. Talk? I don't want to talk. It's too late for that now. It's too late. Ooh, so this is the guy I He's missed. Blood. I missed this one last time. get him to a hospital, he's going to die. All humans die eventually. What does it matter if this one dies now? I'm going to apply a tourniquet. Yeah, you should. Oh! Touch oh! Touch him and I kill you. No, I gotta help this guy. You can't kill me. I'm not alive. That's right, Connor. Take off that tie. Tyless Connor is kind of sexy. Not gonna lie. Am I armed? No. I don't have a gun. Don't have a gun. I know you have a gun. No, 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 no. Really? I came here unarmed. There's no way out, Daniel. What you've done is too serious. The only question is whether or not you take another innocent life. It's not up to you. I'm holding all the cards. If I die, she dies. Oh my goodness. You hear me? Um Look what you did. You were designed to serve humans, not kill them. That's right. What was I designed to be? Their slave? Their toy? I just wanted them to care about me. I just wanted to matter. I just wanted to be someone. You're defective, Daniel. There's a problem with your software. We're going to fix you. Yeah, a problem. Everything will be okay. A problem with the software. I'm working perfectly. But my eyes are open now. I will never let anyone humiliate me again. Ever. I can't stand All right, I'll actually accept anymore. this one. I don't want to take him off Tell too much over the edge. Get out of here. That wouldn't be smart of me, so I'm going to accept this one.
That's right, go back up. It's your last chance. I'm your last chance, Daniel. If you let it slip, they'll kill you. Let the hostage go, you have no other choice. I want everyone to leave. And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna work. Go, Connor, go. Wow. Point blank. Good job, Connor. Wow. It's a little more savage than last time, but I wanted to see how things would play out a little differently. Good job. Good job. Poor Daniel, though. I still feel really, really bad for Daniel. <laughs> and he just hands him the gun. Real suave. Real suave. Ooh, does that mean that Connor's gonna be Tylus from this from now on? That'd be awesome. Can we just have the Tylus? I kind of like the no tie look on Connor. It makes him look a lot more casual, you know. Here's our boy Marcus hey, again. Move it. You're scaring away my customers. What? Me? I'm not scaring away your customers. I'm not doing anything of the sort. I didn't- I wanted to take more time to- Oh, this is beautiful. Human music, one dollar to hear music with soul. Versus, I guess the androids are making music. I still find it really interesting um, that androids are creative, like make, writing novels, making music. It's really, really interesting and cool to see how sophisticated they are. This is a, such a beautiful song. Beautiful voice. Round my feet, stuck on your doorstep. Hallway lights trace your silhouette. Take a breath and step in. I need to download this song. This is a beautiful song. The soundtrack in general of this game is fantastic. Everyone keeps asking me. I guess I can't give him a tip. Alright. It's just so this world. Just the way that they designed all this is absolutely beautiful. It's really interesting, like, seeing this too. Smith & White, wearable, media player, biosensors, check your temperature, e-textile, change the color, check us online. Smith and White Elegance and Lifestyle. Top or order. $150 modular jacket on a 7 in stock. Get it now. Get ready for the season with our new outfit. Accessorizing them. Auto resize adapts to your shape. Heating textile. Um, heating textile. Never be cold again. Self cleaning. No need to wash. Express yourself. $80 interactive wear sweater and top in stock. Tap here to order. So this is all clothes for our androids. Get ready for the season with our new outfit. Biosensors, check your heartbeat, connect to download, look, us, look to us online. $275 for adaptive pants. Wow. So cool. Can't, can't interact with these people. Pinnacle books. 
Android temporary parking. Max units eight. Three hours max parking time. Android parking is, again, a very interesting concept to me. Hello, my ginger friend. Identification. There we go. Where the fuck you going, Tin Oh, this didn't happen last mm -hmm. time. Oh, here we go. Okay. Hey guys, check it out. We got he didn't do anything to you. And he didn't take your your job. Look at He's taking care of the elderly. I don't think that was what your job was. Sheesh. I'm kind of glad I didn't see this the first time. This is horrible. Really? Really? It's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. What did he do to you? He did nothing to you. You can take your job next. Something like it. Okay. Let's go. Run along. They did a really good, great job of setting up the culture here. And, you know, just the parallelisms between this and real life down to the detail of segregating the androids on buses. I mean, if you see them as not people, if you see them as, like, a cell phone, they're not a cell phone, but they basically, to these people, they're basically a super, super, super cell phone on steroids. Then, you know, putting them in their own compartment does make sense. But when they look like people, it's a little creepy. It's a little sketch. It's a little sketchy. Marcus is such beautiful, beautiful eyes. I'm 91% complete. Preacher yells at Marcus. Stare at the hot dog vendor. I did stare at the hot dog vendor. Huh. Well, I guess there's something else for me to look forward to for my third let's play. Or my third playthrough. I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Out of the way, for fuck's sake! I'm sorry, Todd. It won't happen again. Quiet, you. I'll get in front of it if I want. Ugh. No. No. Forbidden. Todd is watching TV. Ugh. <laughs> That's a good touch game. That was a very good touch. Doggone it. I should have just become a deviant at that point. Breakthrough. Breakthrough to cross over that television. And here is that shot. It's fuzzy on purpose. And Kara just doesn't want to like, doesn't want to acknowledge it. Watch it. Excuse you. I'm not, and just for that, I'm not gonna clean any of the bathrooms. I just want to tidy up your room. Alice doesn't use the bathroom anyway. I only need two minutes. So it's just gonna hurt Todd. Count? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Carl. I love Thank that. You. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. I love the way Marcus, like. He like smiles and chuckles. Yeah, it's so adorable. They break down they so break easily. Down so quickly. So quickly. All this effort. 
to keep him going. Marcus has a tear in his shirt. Hey. Oh, it's because. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some. He noticed it too. The street, Carl. Oh, the that's so cool. Idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids. That is cool. I hope they didn't harm you. Oh no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I didn't get that last time. That's a new. Now. I love that. The game has such in, such um, attention to details. That's really cool that um, if you weren't pushed by those guys, then, you know, we wouldn't have this little sequence here. That is really neat. I really love that relationship between Carl and, um, and Marcus. It's so, this is, it's so, it's so sweet. It's so heartwarming. And the way that he like looked, he looked so concerned about Marcus. You could tell he did see him as his son. And yeah, it's it's. I love it. I absolutely love it. We're gonna do something different this time. Oh, chess. I could play chess. Could spin that. We already did the piano. Could read a book. I think I'll play chess. No, I think I'll play chess. I'll play chess. That seems a little bit more... Sit down. Yeah. By myself. Oh. Well, oh, okay. He's spinning all the pieces back together. Mm. Oh, this is sweet. Yeah, they get to play. Chess. Sure, yeah. Speed chess. Speed chess it Speed is. Speed chess. Draw. Oh, I was going to try to draw. The speed chess was way too speedy for me. That is a very odd draw. Well, I know that you don't like to lose, but... You don't like it when I let you win either. A draw True. feels like an honorable compromise, no? That <laughs> That's so charming. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. Oh. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. Yeah. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't oh, let I know. anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. That was sweet. I think I still prefer... Part of me kind of still prefers the piano a little bit. Just because I'm partial to music. Being a band nerd. Nice. Might as well tidy up while I'm in here since I didn't really do any of that beforehand like I did last time. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? This time I'll say... No I'm opinion. I'm not programmed to criticize art. I, you would be a much better judge than I would. <laughs> He's so adorably the truth is I have cute. Nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Don't say that, Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> This time, yeah, we're not gonna paint. Let's paint the desk this time. So 
Wow. That is a perfect copy. Impressive. Yes. Of reality. The right. Painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing right. something you see. Mm hmm. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. So this time I'm going to pick some things that'll foreshadow. That doesn't exist. Something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel, and let your I'm gonna drift across the canvas. Foreshadow his revolutionary tendencies, if I can. Androids. Pain. It's kind of creepy, but it invokes how he was feeling. Pain. Oh, hey, Leo. Hey, Dad. Hi, Leo. Leo. I'm wondering what the stats are um, for this one. So, 24% played chess. It looks like a great, vast more number of people played the piano. Only 10% did a draw. 20% um, did hopeful. Hmm. Copy desk. I chose intimate last time and there was only 6%. Copy desk. More people chose to copy the statue than the desk than Carl's painting. I guess because they thought it would be a little bit more insulting to copy his work. Only 9% chose androids. Only 1% chose pain. Oh. Okay. And then Leo intruded, no matter what happens. Cool. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for her. It's interesting that um, Connor has a WTF face at that point, because he doesn't understand why an, why an android would have like a vendetta against him because the androids aren't supposed to show emotions so connor seems a little like finds that to be really strange and odd you stay there don't you dare fucking move nope no i'm doing it this, this time. time this time i'm gonna move immediately and try a different tactic let's see how the, now if i immediately try to move let's see what happens what will be my Will he notice right away and try to go after me? There we are. All right, so now that we've done it before he went up the stairs, I can go and protect Alice right now. Or I can reason with Todd. I feel like nobody is gonna be reasoning with Todd. Which is why I'm going to do that. You should leave her alone, Todd. She stay out of this. Or you'll be next. Ooh. Oh. Alice. Really? Daddy's very mad. Okay. Well, that didn't work out. You Okay, fine. This... 
this time we're not going to use the gun and just see what happens. 